Hello, YouTube land. Thank you for tuning into Uncle Chick Shots. And it's another busy day here in the farm. Look at Andreas and William there. So noisy. Yeah, Andreas Martin is our guest today. And um, let's see our goals. Like today, guys, I'm on pure corn bran. I don't have rice bran because there's no rice bran everywhere. It's uh, like two months away from harvest time. And um, yeah, I don't know where rice is going. <laughs> There's no brands anywhere. Like I've been to four rice mills and um, three agri shops, and they don't have um, rice bran. Mm. Like William said, even if you have to pay more, like usually it's ten from the rice mill, ten pesos per kilo, and then thirteen for thirteen to fifteen pesos for some, uh, like in the German village and in one rice mill along the highway, it's um, thirteen, and then in shops it's either between 15 to 20 pesos but yesterday or the, and the other day there is no rice bran anywhere so I am now into pure corn bran I did not even mix the hammered corn because anyway it's still corn rice <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys what's going on at the moment I just feed them with the bran the corn bran so this is lotus steam the only two of the triplets are eating. I tried to like separate them in another bowl, but they won't. So I'd rather put a lot in one bowl and let them share. And this is my issue for today. She, among the nine kids here, she's not. She's the only one, the only one not eating corn bran or any bran. She's not into grains yet, Lily. Hello, Lily. Why not eating? Why is she so pretty? <laughs> Lee, eat! Oh. And today also guys, it's the first time of Jane to dig on grass and look at her. Hello Jane! You love the corn bran? Yes. Tim and Gina. Hey, Gina is the youngest of this, uh, of the last feeding season. But yeah, she's now into this uh, bran. Look at her mouth. <laughs> Okay, and this. So I don't have issues anymore with the youngest guys. They're all eating brands. Thank you, Melly. And um, little Molly. Well, look at her. She's into it. It's good that uh, I give her all the vitamins she needs because, like, she's really, um, she really eats with all the appetite in the world. <laughs> and, well, the way it catch up is trying to catch up with others. Like, you know, like recently I made a video of her birthday and. Um, it's, it's a really good because she's now online her weight is now online the others like not like in, in her second month where she only get a kilo and the lowest or the lightest among all goats these two betty and uh sugar are the earliest to learn to eat brands uh, rice bran and corn bran and it's so good like look at the um, big girl there mm. <laughs> she's really into it <laughs> you finish your pain Huh? Oh my god. Even this boy like so loving this corn bran. I know it's not good. Not good baby. Yes. Not good. Yeah, because they need more like other types of brands, but it's just so hard to get at the moment guys. Maybe because of all these rains. They need to dry the corn before they send to the rice meal and they cannot get the sun the sun for like even half day because like here in our farm like we only get like two to three hours of sun yesterday it only showed up at five o'clock but just a few minutes so also problem with the farm rice farmers oh see these guys oh into this corn brown happy so i asked william because if, if it's like this that it's rainy days and they need brands when they cannot graze. I told William if he can do the same thing as uh, the corn brand that's being sold in the store. Because right now, we only get hammered corn and um, crack corn for them. And then we buy rice bran because it's cheaper. Like right now, this I bought, I buy this for 26 per kilo, 26 pesos per kilo. The rice bran is only 10 pesos per kilo. I don't know what to do with you, little girl. She's the youngest of the first triplets youngest of the old, eldest <laughs> yeah. and she's still not really interested she won't even dare to smell that's the problem at the moment but she will eventually learn like right now she's she feels like still a baby 
she's so cuddly she's just wanting cuddles and and play all this Lilith no more no more for me so I should get away from here guys lucky we have Andreas Martin here today who kind of invented <laughs> kind of um, he made this uh, see this hello guys hello Yeah, I have so much food for my goats, but of course, it's not just Madre de Agua that I feed to them. It's uh, like a salad. It, it has a lot. I'll show you later on what I've got today. I walked so far today. Uh, the last three days, I think, we've been going out. Or oh, two days. Three days. We've been going out because it's been raining in the in noontime and afternoon. Just to get goat food, we go to the neighborhood. And uh, yeah, there's so much. The problem in most areas is like the one we went yesterday. Um, there's no such thing as this. It's a slow, so slippery in their areas, in their farms, because it's all covered by trees. It's kind of looking so dangerous. It's all covered with trees and the sun. Like uh, like nowadays, there's not much sun. Like it cannot get into their farm because of all those trees. And here in the farm, I make sure that um you know the areas like here it's the floody area the area should get the sun i keep trimming down the bottom like like this there's not much leaves on the ground even if it hangs it can hang like this here because i want i don't want the soil to be moisty i don't want so much mosquitoes in the farm so like i always make sure there's not much water or mosquito beds in our farm especially in this watery area near the creek rain has finally stopped and I'm gonna show you guys the uh, rice bran that I get from the stores or the shops and the uh, hammered corn that William made for me this morning when they when he and Andreas prepared that uh, corn grinder this is the hammered corn that William made for me this has corn grits mixed with powder that sifted from the machine and this is the corn bran that I bought from the shop that's so powdery you would not see like grits that's the same size as that uh, one from our grinder it's just like so soft and fluffy <laughs> yeah so yeah my goats my babies love this the kids so right now guys it's only oh, wait, I'll this so they will just uh, So right now guys, only Lily doesn't know how to eat brands. I'm not interested of brands. Yeah, so well she is already reserved for um, a repeat buyer. Like I'm just hoping, like really hoping she would learn one day, especially now that I'm feeding really good food. I mean, you know, like that everybody loves except her. So I'm hopefully um, I keep trying. I, I put a separate bowl for her so she will have at least the smell of it. And um, yeah, let's cross our fingers for that. And for now, I'm gonna prepare more food for them. So I have to say bye. Thank you for watching.